camera. Excellent. So we have uh, Coach Leo coming in from Vietnam. Uh, he, he's talking about generating $50,000 a month using Facebook. So I'll, uh, I see your screen. Okay. You're, this is you're, my screen. Can you yep. see my screen? You can see your screen. You're good to go. You're golden. Okay. Good morning, everyone from Vietnam. And it's uh, 5 a.m. here. <laughs> we uh, we joined the conference for three hours from 2 a.m. So uh, today I'm very honored to be here to share with you what I am doing on my marketing and uh, what I have done to help me to get current platinum level with the banking uh, nearly 50,000 per month in average. So uh, I think let me introduce something about myself first because uh, maybe this is the first time for most of you, you, okay. you heard the name Leo from Vietnam. So uh, this is me. I am the a family man with two amazing kids and uh, a beautiful wife. I joined uh, Action Coast five years ago in uh, 2015, October 2. So uh, along with a few other, I have a pioneer as a professional business coach in Vietnam. And uh, you know, at that time, very few people in our country heard about uh, the business code. And uh, most of them, they, they, don't, they didn't understand about the business code term. So, uh, I think the, despite, despite the initial challenges, me and uh, other colleagues in my uh, CBD firm, we try my, our best every day to, uh, uh, to, 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 to do at a business school. So, uh, because one of my biggest results is my client result. So uh, I, I'm very happy when I can see my, uh, my client, a business owner can double or triple or even multiply their businesses by 10 times over. So, uh, and they have a free time for themselves and everybody every day. So I'm so happy when to see, when I, when I can see them. Okay, let's get started. This is my, uh, my motto. Uh, today, I would love to share with you guys my five essential components for inbound marketing for coaches. I, I've been using this model for years to market myself as a coach. And this is the model. I think for the next 25 minutes, I, I would love to share with you the five parts of the model from uh, for whom, who, why, how, and what. It likely, it's a little bit likely to uh, the logical model. I, I know all of, uh, most of you know about it. So uh, at the top of the model is uh, for whom. And this is my purpose. My purpose, and I think uh, as uh, like most of you, is create, creating a world of abundance. And the second part of the model is the who. Wow. <laughs> That's where my biggest mistake from the first day of my marketing activity. Because uh, I post a lot of uh, posts on my Facebook, uh, long notes on my, uh, uh, on my website, on my blogs. But the reality is uh, they did not reflect who I really am consistently. It worked a little bit, but I, I had to spend a lot of effort in my marketing activity in the first day. So uh, years ago, a lot of master coaches came to Vietnam. And uh, most of them told us that we need to, to find our coaching style, our uh, USP, our promise, a brand pro personal brand promise. So uh, they told me that this thing will help us to stand out and make ourselves more focused, more consistently. And I began to find my uniqueness. But how? Uh, I started to find the answer in my own background. And uh, I asked myself some questions like, uh, what part of my working makes me feel good? And how was I growing up? And after a long period of time, I, I, I can find my, my personality or my values or my I am statement. I, uh, uh, and, and this is my identity. It relate to, they are related to my coaching style right now. Firstly, I value family. I value discipline to achieve future success. I believe our be will determine our have. I always push to challenge other people to break their limits. Because uh, you know, I, I started my career as a mathematics teacher in high school. So this is my style. Always push to challenge other people to break their limits at my student. 
I always search for and apply best practices to do everything in my life and my business. And uh, so uh, because I am clear of who I am, so I also want to work with clients whose value and uh, at least admiration are close to mine. So when I when I know who I am exactly and very clear, the second the second question the, the next question for me is how to translate from my value my personal my personality my identity into uh, my ideal client's profile. And after a long period of time, I I find my uh, ideal client uh, I'm my ideal, uh, ideal client avatars or a uh, profile, and. Uh, I would love to work in with someone who open-minded, who have a passion with their job, who uh, has revenue every year more than two million uh, US dollar, who value family and personal development, who want to make a huge impact to our community and have big dream, who have abundant mindset and value team development first, and the last thing, who value action more than just talk. This is my uh, ideal client avatar. And just the thing I, I really would love to share with you here, you and your coaching style must be specific for your ideal clients. What's, what does this mean? It means the relationship between you and your ideal client is the, likely the relationship between the lock and the key. It's, this is very interesting term for me. Uh, I learned this concept from uh, from uh, a uh, a guy's name uh, Colin Terrius many years ago on on a website on the internet. I really love it. Uh, that means you need to answer this very important question: What in your personality is perfect for your ideal client? Yet? It's very important. We are, we are this this the relationship. I mean, you are the key and your ideal client, like the lock. And you are the specific for them. You are the unique for them. It's very, very important because it relates to your marketing message later. And uh, the next part of my model is the why. So why they should work with me? The next question for me, why they should work with me? And uh, to answer this question, I begin to create my, my uh, uh, personal brand promise. And I think it's very, very important uh, as a coaches we need to promise to our ideal client what we can do for them. So the question for all of you, what are your, what are your brand promise now? And you can tie up your brand promise to the chat box and I can see, and I think we can, uh, we can, we, we, we can uh, learn together uh, when, when you tie up your brand promise. Okay, we, we, uh, we will spend a couple of minutes for you guys to uh, to write out your uh, brand promise here on the chat box. Okay, so uh, I spent uh, maybe if I remember exactly at least for six months for me to to write out my brand promise and uh, change many times. And this is my last uh, brand promise. This is la last Leo brand promise to promote myself as a coach. My promise to, I, to my ideal client is transform their life, transform your business, and I will have to achieve incredible results. Uh, my marketing activity totally changed when I, am, when I was clear of who I am and why they should work with me. Because what I need to do now is uh, educate and communicate the way I work with my, my clients to transform their life, to transform their business, and sometimes I show up some incredible result from my, from me and from my, my existing client. So that's all the thing of my marketing activity now. Just, just think, just educate and just communicate to my ideal client what I, what I am doing with my ideal client, uh, with my existing client and what the result. I personally think, uh, I personally think uh, you, you guys need to brand promise a unique selling proposition for yourself as well as your offer. Because a brand promise or USB will answer the very important question, why they should work with you. Another point of view is why you are the best person who accompany them to achieve or uh, to, to achieve their success. Okay, 
the next part of my uh, marketing model is uh, the how. And uh, there are three questions I asked myself at the beginning uh, when I designed the how. How can I fulfill my promise? How do I plan to help my ideal clients? And how do I deliver my message, my promise to them? There are three questions. And uh, to answer my question, this is the first question. How, how, how can I fulfill my promise? And to fulfill my promise, I will bring, I will be, uh, bring the best practice in every aspect of the business to implement to my, uh, my existing client business. Uh, example, I will help them to, to make a long-term strategy, to, uh, to learn some bad practice from sales and marketing to hire, hiring and training team, finance control, planning and execution. And the second way to fulfill my promise is I will help them to bring out the bad version in each leader and their staff. Uh, you know, I am the only coach who use EQ to coach them. I use EQ system and leadership system to coach my uh, existing client every day. Every day I uh, post a question or a challenge to all of my clients to uh, increase their emotional intelligence, to increase their leadership ability. When I have this why and how, they make me feel, feel more, more, more confident to show me up and to close the sale. So I personally think these things are very important because when a potential client see it, they should think, wow, this is exactly what I need. And this is everything I am looking for. This is everything I am looking for. That's very, they will wow about it. And the second part of the house, or the second question is how to deliver my message to my ideal clients. And this is my system. You can see on the screen. Uh, I, I use a one email marketing system from Yoho. Uh, I have three fan pages. I have put one personal profile, just one, <laughs> one personal profile. I use a repro system, strategic alliance, a speaking engagement, a website. That's mean I will optimize my, uh, some uh, key work on my website SEO. Uh, I use uh, free eBooks, YouTube and podcast. So, on this uh, channel will, uh, will help me to attract my ideal clients with the right message for them. At the central of the system, I use three Facebook groups, uh, one, one, face, one group for uh, leadership and emotional intelligence, another group for talking about business, talking about the bad practice, and the last group for a book club. So when, she, when they join uh, one of my Facebook or two or uh, on three, they will go to the seminar. And after that, I will convert them to my, uh, my client by 13 step, sales staff. We trust, we trust before because they know me about, they know me before. They know me before, they trust me, they lie me before. So uh, this is my Facebook platform and my, face, uh, my, my Facebook as a central. And you can see on the screen, I use, uh, my personal profile, three of Facebook group, three pages. Yeah, the setting site is one of my, my, my Facebook group. And you know, I, I should create a setting site maybe uh, six months ago, just six months ago. And uh, at that time, I, uh, the name, the, its, it's name was uh, the setting site support COVID-19. <laughs> I, 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 I used uh, COVID-19 at, it's one of my marketing. And a lot of people came to my Success Inside group and talk about how to deal with COVID-19, how to overcome the challenges. Well, a lot of people, a lot of business owners and some uh, the, some the, some uh, the mid manager in some company and they invite, after, uh, after some session, they invite their business owner came to my group. And now we have uh, 1.1K members in our group. So uh, the next thing I, I, I would love to share with you, why I choose Facebook as my primary platform? Or how, how do I nurture my, 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 my potential client? Because this is the reason why, the other reason why. I have a 5,000 friends in my uh, personal profile and a thousand of followers. Right now I, I have a 30,000, 30, uh, sorry, 
the, that's right, 30,000 followers in my, in my uh, personal profile. I used in Facebook since uh, for, for 10 years. And uh, there are three very big groups of business owners in our city, in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, with a total member is more than 60K. And the last reason is the Facebook is very easy for me to design the funnel. It's very easy for me to design my funnel, to nurturing my, my ideal clients, to nurturing my uh, potential client. So, uh, all right, we, we, we move into the part number five, the, the part number five of my, of my model. But uh, the, the part number five will answer the question, what I am doing to market myself? What I am doing to get a client with my marketing system? And as I mentioned above, the funnel. But before we go to the funnel, I personally think we have to have the who, the how, and the why in play first. Why? If we don't know who we are going after, if we don't know what we are offering them, and why they are so with us, and how do we plan to get them incredible results, I think no funnel in the world can save us. So the funnel doesn't do the work. We do. We have to do, we have to have the piece in place first, and now, if we have in place, now we move to we move to the more easier part of the uh, of the model, the funnel. And this is my funnel, the funnel for the no, the lie, and the trust. Uh, the question I ask for myself when I design the funnel: uh, What journey will my ideal client? take on the way to getting to know me and take on the way to getting to like me and trust me, the KLT. I, I, I think some of you, if you are in Vienna, you, you know about it, the KLT. So the, that is the reason of the funnel. The funnel is a simply way to build the know, to build the lie and the trust factors. And uh, it is the first part of the funnel, of my funnel, the awareness of the know. How do they know me? Uh, I I use as you can see on the screen. I use my personal profile, free ebook, free tools. Uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, I I I have I had not now. I had to I had a live stream session. I name it Coffee with Leo, uh, and uh, I get I get lots of uh, 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 potential clients from uh, from the live stream seminar like this and a fan page, website, YouTube, part being speaking engagement. You, you know about it before because I, I mentioned it before. So uh, the question I asked me, I asked myself at this stage is, uh, how, do I, how do they get to know me? Do I, do I love to host a workshop? Do I love to uh, host a live stream of fa on the Facebook group or in my personal profile in public? Uh, do I need to go to the networking to, uh, uh, to meet somebody and they are introduced to me by uh, someone uh, already me uh, uh, before it. So uh, after, uh, after I, I, I know, I think after maybe uh, uh, two or three months, I designed all of, uh, all of the channel to attract my ideal client. And this is, all, this is the end. On this, all, the, as on the thing I, uh, uh, on the channel I, I, I using now to attract my ideal clients. And now, uh, uh, I think one of the most important key work here I, I, I would love to share with you is establish your habit. Because if you need to uh, predict your result in the future, you need to establish all of your marketing activity to become, to turn all of your marketing activity to a habit. To a habit and stick it, stick them into your default diary or your default diary, uh, or your default diary of, your, of your marketing team. So the sec that is the first step. And the second step of the funnel is the lie. How do they lie me? And uh, this is the time I, I show them, uh, how, do, how do they get into lie me? Uh, there are some, uh, some ways I, 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 I am using now to get them to lie me. Uh, and, and you can see on the stream example, live stream seminar, uh, online workshop, on my, uh, on my Success Insight group, on my EQ group, on my uh, book club group. Uh, I use uh, nurturing e uh, an email system, Yoho. I, I use Yoho to nurturing my uh, potential cl uh, clients. I use lots of content. 
sometimes I uh, organize a personal development classes, some personal development development classes and some leadership classes. So uh, it's very important thing here I, I would love to share with you. In my society inside group, I do a same online seminar every week on the Monday, uh, 7 seven thirty p.m. And uh, there are three kinds of the topic I usually do every Monday. Uh, the first topic is uh, I give them some uh, knowledge, some materials, some uh, process uh, in uh, uh, in action club materials. I pick up some material from, uh, from the action club and take them every Monday. Uh, like how to manage your time, how to manage your cash flow, how to manage your money, something like that. The second kind of topic uh, I hear is uh, I uh, sometimes I interview some uh, experts, some specialists in our community. This is a very good way to market myself in front of their follower because a lot of experts in, in our community, they have a lot of followers. So when I invite them to my seminar, they promote the event. And a lot of people came to came to my to my group. Uh, and the last uh, the last topic is a business owner interview. I interview uh, most all of them. All of them are my clients. I invite them to talk about the way they are balanced their life, the way they manage their cash flow, the way they manage their, mo their money, etc. And I personally think this is the best way to show the reality of my brand promise. Because on the, on the interview, they, they show on the, uh, uh, on they have to done to, to achieve the success like that, uh, to achieve success like that. So uh, this is a good way to show them the reality of our brand promise. Okay, and, uh, and the key word I would love to recommend you here is building your report. You need to build your report in this state of the funnel. So uh, to build your report, I think you uh, not not not, isn't e not not really easy. But uh, if you uh, if you are yourself, you you are authentic, and uh, your story or your client story relate to your ideal clients, or uh, when they think they like you, they uh, they are like you or they like uh, your ideal client, your existing client. That's the way to build your report. And the next part of the funnel is the trust and buy and retention. So I would love to share something about the trust because um, uh, in the trust I do, uh, you, you can see on my screen, I, I usually uh, do a, a review my some case study from my existing client. Uh, every quarter I join a planning bootcamp, uh, a, a kind of problem. A kind of role club because in uh, in CBD we uh, we conduct a planning bootcamp every quarter. So every quarter I join the planning bootcamp and speak uh, one or two hours, sometimes three hours, uh, in front of a lot of people, in front of a lot of uh, business owner. And uh, every uh, every semester, uh, that's me every six months, I I conduct a strategic planning workshop. It's very powerful way to attract uh, the mid. Uh, the middle company, the mid side company. When you do a strategic, a strategic planning workshop, you can uh, you can attract a lot of uh, mid side company in in your community. So uh, about the about the lie and the trust uh, stay, I uh, I do believe that we have we have to give some valuable knowledge, a high quality seminar or workshop, because uh, we cannot give them something from the bottom of the barrel. They want something that are best. I think so. I think on the audiences in my personal group, uh, the things like I do with my one-on-one -on -one clients every week, every week. And uh, I think the best free thing to give is something that is quickly consumable. Okay, so how do you build, how, how do you build trust? If you want to build trust, I think you need to show them uh, how, to, how you have your ideal client to get the result consistently. When you're talking about the pain points, when you're talking about the frustration, the real people, real results, on this thing that will help, uh, that will help us to build the, the trust factor. I think so. Okay, uh, after a long period of time using my uh, my system, there are three lessons I would love to share with you. 
um, the first lesson is you need to create more content. So your day is being able to send out one email uh, in New Leicester a week or uh, show up one or twice on social media every week as over. I think so. Our potential clients become more skeptical, especially they are business owner, the person who really, really smart. And you need to create more content to, to stand out. I, I personally think the currency uh, content is, is the currency of your business. It's how you build a relationship with your audiences. This is how you show them up. You are the right person for them. And the lesson number two is do your more live stream video and get your existing client to join with you. Uh, don't worry, being yourself. Just using your phone, your laptop with a high quality camera to live stream to capture what you are saying. Don't worry. Sometimes you don't care about your content, just you and uh, get the interaction with your audience, with your uh, ideal clients. And the, la the last lesson is not your content, talk about how and why you are different from other people, how you can fulfill your promise and show them your process, the, show them the way you are co you're coaching and working with them. It's very important. So uh, I think we have a couple of minutes to the end. Yep, uh, we, we, we do have some questions for you, Leo. Yes. So the first question we've got here is, do you get clients from Action Club or one-to-one -one coaching? One-to-one uh, -one coaching. One-to-one -one coaching. Yep. Uh, what, what system process or software do you use to track a prospect's journey through, their, through your funnel? And at what point do you enter them into your customer uh, relationship management tool? Just Facebook. <laughs> just Facebook and with my uh, three private groups and I post a video, I post my, uh, so, sometimes when I do a uh, live stream seminar every Monday, I come to action. Okay, sure. this, uh, I have a next seminar on, the, on Friday or Thursday. If you want to share it, please sign on the link. That's all. Okay. Uh, do you not use LinkedIn at all? Uh, not, not now. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, I, I will, I will. <laughs> and, and a question coming in, what is Transformation Week with some question marks? Ah, Transformation Week. Every year I, uh, I conduct a Transformation Week with five days and I talk about strategy, long-term long strategy and how to build strategy and uh, how to build the execution planning for three, one or three years. And uh, uh, on the, my existing client, they have to spend five days a year with me at the end of the uh, October every year. Sorry, at the end of November. Okay. That's Excellent. a transformation week. Yeah. A, cool. strategic, uh, a strategic planning workshop, something like that. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, Leo. Uh, that was okay. uh, that was a great presentation. Uh, questions, I think, of Andrew. I'm going to move it over to top takeaways and then move into our award ceremony here. So thanks yes, again. Thank uh, great. Thanks for staying up so late. Uh, I know it's uh, really, really, really early in the morning there in <laughs> Vietnam. And I uh, look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Take care. Yes, you too. Thank you, Ken. All right. Take care.